I want to ask you about radon. Mm -hmm. um, the state indoor radon grant is one of a number of programs the president proposes to uh, eliminate in his budget. Um, on the other hand, the president's budget requests $235 million in climate-related funding, the centerpiece of which is the Clean Power Plan, of course. Um, uh, the Clean Power Plan, um, according to your, um, uh, according to, to your figures, will avoid 6,600 premature deaths by the year 2030. Um, on the other hand, uh, by your own analysis, radon causes an estimated 21,000 lung cancer deaths each year. Um, do I have those figures right, at least, Administrator? Well, I, I think uh, I, I don't have that exact figure, but the sure. figures that we, we provide for 2030 are annual figures. Every year that, that is a reduction. Okay, so, okay. Um, so the, you, what you're saying is that the clean power plant will avoid 6,600 premature deaths per year. Be, yes. Okay, and, and by contrast, uh, radon causes an estimated 21,000 lung cancer deaths annually uh, in the U.S. It just seems to me uh, th that you are not being cost efficient there. Um, the, the core mission of the EPA is to protect human health and environment. Given these numbers, it seems to me that taking the money away from, from known threats such as indoor radon uh, it is inefficient in that there are some 21,000 lung cancer deaths well, attributed to radon yeah. each year. <laughs> well, let me just respond to that. Sir, there, there is, uh, if, if I thought $8.1 million in state grants would actually reduce 21,000 lives and, and save those, I, I would. That's really the question is whether or not that $8.1 million to states is the right way to address the, the risk that is apparent. And we've developed a separate strategy that we think is more efficient, that doesn't require state grants to be done. And we, we have not found that state grants are the most appropriate and efficient way to address that risk. What you're comparing is known reductions that we believe you, are, you're, will, you're will saying the, the versus um, the, the entire risk to radon. You're saying the state indoor radon grant program is an ineffective program? I am saying that there are, there are more effective ways to use our resources, and we're trying to do that. That's how we have framed this budget. And are, where is the... Not that the, we don't like uh, the grants, but you have to... So what's the name of the program, then, uh, that, that you are uh, advancing and advocating today? To, to supplant the state indoor radar. Grant we program. have our indoor air program, and part of the, their charge is to address radon, and we're doing that in two different ways. We have a federal plan that is looking across the board at how we do this using federal resources from, from agencies that are essentially landlords, and we're also marrying that effort with individual states and NGOs and innovators who have technology options to actually reduce radon in the home and how we spread that word more effectively. Okay, well, uh, we'll, we'll discuss that more uh, in depth um, with, with some questions for the record. Um, Ms. McCarthy, the Clean Power Plan has been stayed by the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. um, you, you have said it doesn't prevent EPA from continuing to work on the rule. Um, now, <clears throat> last month you testified before the House Energy and Commerce Committee with regard to the stay. Yes. And said we certainly won't do anything that implements or enforces the rule consistent with the Supreme Court yes. uh, uh, stay. What work is your agency continuing to do with regard to the Clean Power Plan? Have you requested any legal analysis to ensure that you have the legal authority to carry out this work? And if you have requested such a legal analysis and received one, can you provide that analysis to this committee? 
Well, I, I can certainly uh, tell you that I have worked with our Office of General Counsel, who is working very closely with the Department of Justice to make sure that we totally respect the decision of the Supreme Court, as we always would. We are continuing to attend meetings that the states request of us. Uh, we are continuing to work with states that, on a volunteer, on a volunteer basis, want um, to actually continue to move forward in the development of their state plans. And we are continuing to look at the tools available to the agency to support that effort. For example, the states want us to develop an accounting system that would help them um, to account for their greenhouse gas but, emissions. But with regard, in, in, the, in, in the short time we have, okay. with regard to a legal analysis, you've been working with your inside counsel Correct. and with the Justice Department. Yes. Have they provided you with written analyses about whether you can go forward and what you can do and what you can't do? I have certainly had many discussions with my Office of General Counsel written, that has written. told me what, what, what everybody uh, believes is the consensus of what we should and shouldn't be doing. It's very clear to me is there anything that I am not in writing? Men are enforcing You see what I'm getting at, health. though? I'm, I'm just trying to get a specific answer so I can know if you can provide this committee with with uh, uh, written, with copies of this written advice. So you've, you've, you've mentioned oral oral advice, yeah, I but have not do you have anything, anything in, in writing? writing? I have not seen it provided to me, but I can go back and see if there is written discussion of this. Thank but you. clearly, we are doing everything possible to consult with our attorneys and make sure we're being very respectful. But I am doing nothing that implements or enforces this rule consistent with the Supreme Court. If you have anything in writing, I, I would appreciate it if you would submit it Thank you, sir. to this committee. Th Thank, Thank you, Senator.